My guest today is Jeza Faustino. Jeza, how are you? I'm fine, David. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. I love your voice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what do you do now? So now I'm working uh, to Microsoft. I Microsoft. started, yes, I company. started in March of this year. For me, it's a challenge, mm -hmm. but I'm loving work to them. That'd be a challenge because you're so new to it now. Right. Yes, yes. For me, it's a challenge because I have to change from Rio de Janeiro to São Paulo. So my whole family is staying in Rio and I change to São Paulo. Oh, is and that a long distance? I've never been to Brazil. No, no, no. It's a very short distance about flying. It's a flight about 90, 40 minutes. Oh. It's a short flight. So it's okay. But my family is staying in Rio de Janeiro and the work that I'm doing now, it's a little different than... I used it to do before. You so used to be a university professor, right? Yes, I was a university professor about some years, and I used it to work with um, geophysics, computational geophysics as well. So mm. now it's very different, and that's it. But I love challenge, and I will love and work in Microsoft with my new friends. It's very Excellent. good. Excellent. And you were telling me earlier that you really enjoyed teaching. Yeah, and I you love it. At university, and you're doing some teaching here now as uh, an engineer it, at Microsoft. Right? Yeah, yeah, I did because we have a kind of event called uh, the Open Hacks when we are kind of proctors or mentors. Uh -huh. And that is the um, opportunity that we have to, to teach something. Uh, the last week I was attending the Open Hack in Dubai. In Dubai. And here yes, right yes, it's an amazing Milwaukee, place. <laughs> And tomorrow and you go because, back home to Brazil. Yeah, tomorrow back home finally because it was too... a lot of travel. Yeah, it's a lot of travel, <laughs> but I will survive. And it was a, a grateful experience because the, the table that I, I was, the guys didn't know about Python. They didn't know about machine learning. They didn't know uh, about how to code. And they, was, they, they were so full committed and an open mind uh, and they really want to learn about it mm -hmm. that in the end of three days they complete the three or four challenge i don't remember now and there was very i am very proud of that guys because they i've they learn a little about python they learn the basic uh, concepts about machine learning and now they want to keep learning after the event they send me an email um thank you thanks about the the the, the guidance etc and ask me about free course so they want to keep learning oh that's excellent and it's amazing i really like this that's a this huge result so people came in without any of the the their probably prerequisites listed on the <laughs> <laughs> on the registration page but um they came yeah, without, they without any knowledge of uh, the programming languages involved without any knowledge of the basic concepts of machine learning mm -hmm. how did you get them started in that uh, first, I ask them what they want to, to, to do because we have two options. For example, we can forget about the challenge of the open hack and start to, to learn the basic concept of Python, of programming, etc. Okay. Or we can do both in parallel. Mm -hmm. So we start with the, the, the challenges and try to, to, to learn how to solve the, 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 the challenge. And when they have any doubt, anything that they don't know, we stop and learn a little about the basic concepts okay. during the challenge and we do it and was very 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 interesting for mm -hmm. example they didn't know about imagery how we can represent an image inside a computer okay. that it's a basic concept to 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 resolve the to solve the the first challenge that we have a kind of image processing hmm. and it was amazing i really i really like the the this experience because as you said I like to, to teach. I oh. like to, to see people learning. I try, I try, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to see people with that, that, uh, that, that feeling of, ah, oh, that is it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you and now you got it. Right above their heads and they, <laughs> yeah. they understand a concept because of you. That's a yeah, really yeah, good yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of me, but it's all because you are, how can I say, you are in that moment, want to learn because sometimes people ask you about something but they don't want to hear you about what you what try you, what do you mean? for example oh how can i say this sometimes people uh, sometimes people ask you about something but they have already a preconcept and okay. they don't want to change they 
Oh, they, they just want to validate what they already think they <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so <laughs> it's that's, a, not, that's not really conducive to learning. Yeah. All right. So is this uh, what you just described here in the three-day, um, I think it's called Open Hack, mm-hmm. Open Hack in Dubai. Was that similar to your experience teaching in university? Uh, it's a little different because in, in this kind of event, people are there to learn usually. Mm. And sometimes in the university, people are there only because your parents are <laughs> obliga- obliga- obligating. Okay. I don't know. the, the yeah, word. They, are, they, were, they, they are forced they to do, do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are forcing you. Okay. <laughs> be, but usually it's, a, it, it's very similar uh, regarding the, the number of people. It's different. Mm. When you are in a university, we have a um, program to, to, to follow, a specific program to follow in yep. Open Hack. It Okay, we have the challenge to follow, but it's, it's different. It's less structured. It's it what? Less structured in the Open yes. Hack than in the university? Um, I don't know if I can say this because we have, uh, we really have to follow the the, the challenges. Okay, but in the the university we have more time. That's uh, the difference. We have sure. yeah yeah we have six months four months. And what did you teach? I use it to teach um, math. Okay. It's not applied math. Was the theoretical math? I use okay. it to to teach calculus, analytical geometry. A differential equations, that kind of thing. For I always thought math was one of the more difficult things to teach, especially if you don't have a practical thing to apply it to. Yeah, that is so, a good point. So when you're studying um, geometry, that there's a physical thing that you could point mm-hmm. to and say, here's a triangle, and mm-hmm. if you wanted to, I don't know, buy enough carpet to mm-hmm. cover this floor, you could apply it to that. And if you're studying um, Oh, uh, differential equations. Mm-hmm. You can talk about speed, distance, and speed and velocity. Mm-hmm. But then you start getting into integrals, <laughs> and there are practical <laughs> applications. But those aren't usually taught at the same time that calculus is taught. They're taught yeah. later. That there are some electromagnetic things and some physics things that are taught later. Mm-hmm. So you're teach- learning these things without any idea of how to how to apply. Yeah, that them. is that's f- from my point of view. It's a um, a problem. I don't know if. In here, if we have the same situation here in US, in Brazil, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. I was a little frust- frust- frustrated right. during my my, grad- my graduation during the, the university because I didn't know where uh, can I apply what I was learning. For me, it was I was so frustrated that time, and oh my God, it's okay. I'm able to compute this in this integral derivative, etc. Yep. But what we can do with it, do with this uh-huh. kind of thing. So when I was in my master and I realized that we are able to detect edge using the second derivative. To detect what? Edge in an image. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Computing so the second. Yes, that, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. So for me, it's an a, a, a important point that we have to solve in Brazil specifically because we have the whole um, university about four years, three years, and we, d- we don't realize what we can do with math. We yeah. only have theoretical um, classes. I mm-hmm. think it would be much better if we have applied math inside the, 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 the university. Mm-hmm. So that was when the light went on for you, and you said, aha, I <laughs> wish your <laughs> math teacher had been there to see it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK, uh, it's uh-huh. difficult. All right, you have any more open hacks coming up? You gonna do some more teaching? Uh, I don't know. We have to check. Probably we'll have it's a um, how can I say there's a rec- recurrent uh, okay, event yes. that we have in in Microsoft yeah. as, f- as far as I know. So probably we have a lot of open hacks in the yeah. next year, and I will love attend them as possible. Yeah, I did one in um, Montreal just recently. It was a lot about of what? It was on. Um, uh, <laughs> serverless. It was on serverless. Oh, I'm it's sorry. serverless. I, I've okay. done a lot of the things since then. That was about a month and a half ago. So, uh-huh. uh, and um, it was, uh, and this is the end of the year. We're in December right now, so I think oh, okay. I, I still I get the same emails you do that there is a couple of them planned for December. I don't think they've scheduled them for January. It's February yet. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what we we attend in January, and February yet. I have to back to Brazil, <laughs> talk to my manager, and oh, decide I what we. Brazil. <laughs> I want to come to Brazil. You will. I want to. Oh, okay. I've never been. 
Yeah, but you are uh, um, think about it. Do you know when you want to go? I want to go right now. Right now. Well, when <laughs> right it's now. warm there and cold here. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not too warm. <laughs> it's more than warm. It's totally hot. Oh, when's the best time to come? The best time, I think, for you guys that are not used to hot temperature, uh -huh. I think it's the July, okay. um, August, beginning of September. Oh, really? Okay. Because so July would be yeah, uh, don't actually winter down there, right? July, yes, it's winter, but we don't have winter. I see. Good point. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we don't have winter. It's hot almost part of, this the, part of the, the, the year. We have a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I really like the, the, the weather during the September. Okay. Yeah. And it will be a pleasure when you go to Brazil. Please let me know. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> As I was talking about, I really love to to teach and talk about my friends, about technology. It's a kind of interesting topic. We have a lot of fun talking about it, do a lot of jokes, and that's it.